Yup, you see the title, right? Emilia is the LeBron James of anime. I didn't think that we'd make this comparison, but ReZero seen three out, and people are desperate for the views, just like I am, reacting, being a lazy, and watching another person named Sabuski make great content. Please make me laugh. Emilia is the LeBron James of anime. Let's farm. On James, Tom Brady, Muhammad Ali. These are names of some of the greatest to ever do it. And just like in sports, Ooh. anime has goats too. I'm sick and tired of you motherfuckers not accepting the greatness of Amelia. Yeah. <coughs> Rem tarts. Let's see. Rem, edit status. Status watching. Episode scene 18 out of 25. Your score 10 out of 10 masterpiece, right? This is the Isle of Amelia scene. And then dropped. Looking like we have a disgruntled Rem hater glazing Amelia in this video. Greatness of Amelia. <coughs> Rem tarts. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah. But she's a boring and one-dimensional character. Some of you might say after jerking off to Rim for the seventh time today. I'm surprised there's no Twister board on here. Is Amelia... Sorry, who are we talking about right now? Are, are we talking about like... Oh, so I, I see that. The body is warm. Amelia is very basic though. And she can only be basic because the anime content in season one, there's no necessary growth. And all that growth happens basically core two of season two. Emilia does seem like a static character because the focus of season one is not to develop Emilia. The focus of season one is to introduce us to this world and go through what Natsuki Super's perspective and him kind of failing over and over and then learning and growing. And then eventually season two talks about Emilia's past and that's when she gets to really become more deep, more death, right? But I do understand why people will say Emilia static, not flat, very busty, but flat character. Let's get this shit out the way. I don't give a fuck what side of the waifu wars you rep. These is just the facts. Amelia is a good character. Not just yeah. good, great. So great, no other girl has appeal like hers. Just like how nobody was fucking with 2018 Ron. I think Ram appeals very heavy. Ram's sassy personality, her quick wittedness, how raw she is with everything, nothing held back. But at the same time, having a little bit of affection for Subaru and other people that she truly does respect, but will never show it. I think that's very appealing. Amelia! For sure. I think that there is a lot of peak moments in, you know, the second half of season two. Like hers. Just like how nobody was fucking with 2018 Ron, nobody could touch Prime Amelia besides maybe a couple others. Why is Amelia so great, you ask? It's simple. Not only yeah. is she cute and received a buff in season three, uh -huh. she has a powerful personality. Motherfuckers will call her bland and boring, but then they'll say they haven't seen all of season two. If you only seen season one- Basically, right? If you've seen season one, then that's where all the criticism is going to come from. Season two is where the real characterization of this half-elf starts. One. Of course you're gonna think Ram is better! Amelia gets most of her development in Season 2 which washes Rams! In a world of pretty much nothing but villains, Amelia remains pure-hearted. Her backstory is so fucked up it got me thinking how she didn't go bad. You know how in Demon Slayer all the Upper Moon Demons got mm. some tragic sob story that's supposed to make you feel bad after they killed a shit ton of people? Classic Demon Slayer. Introduce evil dude, then right before you kill evil dude, Tanjiro and evil dude talk it out, flashback, and you're like, No! I feel bad for evil dude! Bitch! Amelia got it worse than all of them, and yet she's still good. On top of her backstory, she faces insane prejudice and racism. That is actually so true, and she's still good. I think there is a couple moments in season two where Subaru is like regressing, and he wakes up in the tr in the graveyard, right, along with Amelia after Amelia fails her trial, and Subaru is like traumatized. But so is Amelia. But Amelia immediately goes to Subaru to make him calm down. She is actually. Such an angelic person. Like the EMT, Amelia Tan Mega Angel. T is angel in Japanese. That's the acronym. Like, she is such a good person. On top of her backstory, she faces insane prejudice and racism every day. Every day! Just because yeah. she looks like Satella. Despite all that, she wants to do good for the world. A direct example was when she wanted to save the villagers despite them being her number one haters. Before these motherfuckers got saved by her in the sanctuary, they was posted up all day long on some Skip Bayless shit. I can't believe this, bro. I, I, I can't believe this dude with the fucking broomstick. This is the craziest part because I think this is, you know, Petra's dad and mom because after this scene, we see Petra looking out the window. Like, this straight up is Petra's family, I think. And he brought up the fucking broomstick for Amelia. Get Bayless shit trying to push the agenda that she's bad. On top of all of that, Amelia had to deal with pre-developed Subaru. And you know how cringed he was then. Mm, she only known him for a couple days and picked up that he needed emotional support. Very what did true. she do? Lap pillow. How about when Subaru finally got his shit together and succeeded in his loop? Lap pillow. What about when Subaru went out of his way to break his promise to her? And then how Lap he pillow. blew up on our goat talking about how he deserves pussy because he's a nice guy. Amelia rightfully so got He deserves pussy because he's a nice guy.
You have a debt that you could never pay me back. Yeah? Yeah? I think that modern... Like, yeah, I, I think that comparison, that, that comparison definitely makes sense. Pissed off at him and cut his dumb ass off. So much for being bland, right? And she's shown that when shit hits the fan, she can hold her ground. On True. top of this, she has her own motives. And, and she's very strong. This is a nerfed Amelia, bro. This is straight up a nerfed Amelia compared to what we see in Trial 2. Trial 1, sorry. Compared to what we see in fucking, you know... Like a frozen bond, right? Amelia is nerfed. A fan, she can hold her ground. On top of this, she has her own motives and got an end game goal. So how can she possibly be one dimensional? She's an innocent and pure soul who just so happens to be the best at what she does in this anime waifu shit. Just like I think that Amelia is not one dimensional, right? I think that if you've seen only season one, you may come to that conclusion. But even then, he's already given us many good points on season one about how Amelia has been really struggling. Season two, I think, gives a characterization. But even if all of that is true, and for sure Amelia is not one-dimensional, is Amelia the LeBron James of anime? What the fuck does that even mean, right? Is she, I, I, LeBron James is an amazing athlete. People would call him some, some people would consider him greatest of all time. Some people would say that Amelia is talking about MJ. But of all anime, is, is this the pinnacle of story writing, character, deep complexities? of a female role, is Amelia truly that role? Because, like, I completely agree with everything so far regarding Amelia's characterization, but is she that peak? Maybe she is in the future. Maybe if we complete the anime, right? Get her all, all the good shit happening in the future, too, maybe. But uh, I'm not so sure that I can confidently say Amelia is the best girl character in anime. My glorious king LeBron. LeBron's character has only ever been good despite him being worldwide famous his entire life. This guy was a teenager exposed to all types of corruption you could think of, and in a world full of evil, he remained good. 2018 Bron hitting that game 3 buzzer beater over the Raptors is on the same level of Amelia Ooh. overcoming the Sanctuary Trials. Nice comparison. Just greatness. Thank you for watching. Okay. It's off the Leonard, defended Blocked by, by James! Is this the dagger? I, I think that Amelia is a well-written character, but to say that she is the best character in anime is a bit of a reach. Obviously, we're just having fun and we're just fucking glazing right now. And regarding the whole LeBron out of problem and controversies, I agree. Up until now. What did he mean by ain't no party like a Diddy party? Yo, does Bron know anything about the Diddy parties and the freak offs, bro? If that shit comes to light, Bronze clean fucking track record that has never been tarnished. Let's cross our fingers that that doesn't happen.